Well, if it's Friday, which it is, thank goodness, it's time for Barron's Buzz, where we take a sneak peek at the new issue of Barron's Magazine. And joining me now is Barron's Senior Editor, Jack Howe. Jack, Hi, it's wonderful to see you. Thanks for being here. Love your cover story, the top 100 hedge funds, a highly anticipated list. As we know, hedge funds can be a little opaque. So how do you guys come up with this list? Well, we have a variety of sources. It really just takes a few months of reporting to track down the numbers, call and verify with the companies, make sure things are after fees, and, and get a good ranking. Anyone can figure out which mutual funds are doing well. As you say, it's not as easy with hedge funds. So we have the top 100 performers. And what we find is that in recent years that we've done this, at near the top of the list has been uh, hedge funds have been playing in mortgage-backed securities and things like that. Now it's all about stocks. Mm. And the ones near the top of the list have made sort of clustered bets on stocks that they know really well. Uh, the name at the top of the list is, is Larry Robbins at Glenview Offshore Opportunity Fund. He's made a bet on Obamacare, figured out which stocks are going to be benefit from Obamacare and, and made concentrated bets. So we have a cluster of stories where you get the rankings, we've got some profiles of, of fund managers and also some stocks that activist investors are targeting now. Have there been any upsets to this list? Any major movements up, up or down? Well, we have seen that those uh, those guys that are making the, <clears throat> the bets on the mortgage back and other asset backed securities have, have dipped down. and. Some ones that have made great stock bets have risen to the top, so there has been some turnover on the list. All right, a lot of people are going to be reading that list. Thank you so much. Now, moving to Asia, the so-called Warren Buffett of Asia is selling off of all of his Chinese properties. Does this yeah. signal that the uh, Chinese housing bubble has finally officially burst? Well, I think it's in the process. Uh, this is Li Keqing. He has sold a lot of property there. We had a cover story in Barron's uh, last year, you know, warning about the conditions in the China property market. We have seen prices fall this year in, in a lot of markets markets there in China. Um, and so we take the opportunity to look at what's going on in, in the market now. It's not so much a liquidity event as just sort of a, a structural oversupply there. And if you have investments in China, not just real estate investments, but stocks, or if you're thinking about maybe bargain hunting in China right now, I, th I think this is a story for you to figure out where we are in the property cycle there. And what does it seem will happen in the long term? Will there be another rebound the way our bubble here rebounded? There could, but I think you have to be really patient. There's some, you know, the, the, the government there is trying to get some, for example, banks to, to uh, you know, give more mortgages to people, but banks aren't really keen to do that right now because the profits aren't great. There's other products they could be selling that make better money for them. So it's kind of, uh, it's tough in China right now to, to, to spur this, uh, to revive this property market. So you could have some you know, a bit more downside there. You need to be careful here. All right, and finally, you say that this summer might be the right time to start cultivating a taste oh, for veggie burgers. This is really dear Oof. to my heart. Forget about yeah. hedge, hedge funds right. and Chinese property. <laughs> Uh, beef prices are up 9% this year, Oof. pork is up 5%. Um, we had a, a run up in grain prices and some farmers had to reduce the size of their herds. There's also been a swine virus, so it's some supply issues and those could take a few years to play out. So we could be looking at these elevated prices at, at barbecues. I recommend instead of having a barbecue at your house, Try to get invited to a neighbor's barbecue. There you go. There you go. Now's the time to, to be really friendly with your neighbors. Jack Howe, thank you so much Thanks, for all Tanya. of that.